Hello everyone. So in this segment, we are going to talk about prime numbers. So uh, which number is a prime number? First, we are going to see the definition of a prime number. So a prime number, a natural number, uh, p greater than or equal to 2 is a prime number if and only if the natural numbers that divide p is 1 or p itself. So um, we are saying that a, a natural number prime number has to be actually greater than or uh, equal to 2 okay so we do not consider 1 as a prime number all right so um, a, any natural number p greater than or equal to 2 is known as a prime number if and only if all natural numbers that divide the number p is only p or p itself say for example if i consider all the number let's write down all the number means i'm writing down few of the numbers now as i'm saying that natural number that uh, p greater than or equal to 2 so i'm not going to consider even one okay so uh, one doesn't consider as a like prime number okay so we, we are going to start from number two okay and we're going to find out whether uh, whether uh, the number has a divisor which is not one or the number itself okay so for example if i think ab think about two so what are the divisor of two so two is divided by two is divided by only one and two itself okay so this is the example one example is of prime number is two now again about three so if i think about three who divides three so only one divides three and three divides three okay so here i can see that only one divides three and the number itself divides the number so three is another example of prime number now what about four so about four one divides four two divides four and four divides four so here i have one divisor two which is not one or the number itself so other than one or number itself there is one more divisor for this number so this number is not a prime number okay so a prime number is a uh, number all right only one and the number itself divides that number all right so examples are two three and you can see five so the divisor of 5 are 1 and 5 okay 1 and 5 the number itself again for 7 the divisor of 7 is 1 and 7 all right but about 6 6 uh, is divided by 1 2 3 and 6 all right so we we can see here we have two more divisor other than 1 or 6 all right so 6 it's not a prime number so here i can say that 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 4, 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, 8, 9, 10, none of them are prime number. So we have actually many other prime numbers here. For example, 11, the next prime number here is 11. Okay. So uh, 11 is a prime number because the divisor of 11 is only 1 and 11. There are no other divisor. All right. So a natural number n greater than 1 uh, that is not a prime number is known as a composite number. So that means take a set of natural number. Uh, the number 1 we do not consider it as like either prime or uh, composite. Okay. 1 is just 1. So we are going to think about a, whether a number is prime or number is composite uh, for all number which is not 1. Alright. Now few numbers are prime okay by the definition and the numbers greater than one which is not prime they are known as a composite okay so now we can define composite number like that a composite number is going to have a divisor which is not one and the number itself uh, which is not only the one or number itself so the composite number uh, is going to have at least one more divisor okay other than the number itself and one for example like four okay so four has divisor one 
2 and 4 all right 2 is uh, uh, one divisor other than 1 and 4 so uh, if I think about 6 6 has how many divisor 1 2 3 and 6 all right so we have two more divisor now 10 so 1 2 5 and 10 so two more divisors okay so so some uh, in this segment we are going to see actually prime numbers and we are going to see some properties of prime number all right so one uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic is that every integer n greater than or equal to 2 can be written in this form okay so every integer n can be written in this form here p1 p2 p3 pr all are prime numbers so you can see that actually we can represent every number okay as a multiple of some prime numbers that's interesting right so these p1 p2 p3 p4 uh, pr they are all prime numbers so we can represent every integer number as a form of some multiplication of some prime numbers all right so let's see a couple of examples so uh, let's take just a very simple number say 4 so i can represent 4 as a 2 times 2 okay 2 and 2 uh, these two are both are prime number then let's see 8 2 times 2 times 2 okay 15 i can represent 15 as a 3 times 5 okay how i am doing that actually uh, try to uh, divide it with the uh, nearest prime number so uh, you have a even number obviously even number is divided by 2 2 is a prime number so divide keep divide it with the all the prime numbers so uh, then let's see 60 so 60 can be divided by 2 then i will have 30 okay 30 is divided by 2 all right 30 will be divided by 2 so i will have then 15 left okay 15 i cannot divide it by 2 anymore so i have to divide it by 3 okay now i have uh, 4 times uh, 3 12 so i have i can divide it by with another prime number 5 all right so uh, prime numbers plays uh, actually a very important uh, a very important role in number theory okay and prime numbers are considered as like a building blocks in the number theory because of this property okay every integer number take every integer number you can actually represent that number in this form 